So let's finally answer this. Which is the best printer for printing black and white images? Well, hello and welcome to this photo speed video with me, as always, Tim Jones. So today, as the title suggests, we are looking at black and white printing, and also which printer is best for printing your black and white images. So we have a couple of printers on the table. I've got the Canon Pro 300, and also the P900 from Epson, just sat here. But these are the ones I could fit on the table, to be honest. But before we dive in to looking at the best printers and which ones we recommend for black and white printing, Please don't forget to subscribe to the Photospeed YouTube channel. New videos every Tuesday and Thursday now. Just make sure you've subscribed and click that bell icon as well so you get a notification when we release a new video. Also, head over to photospeed.com to sign up to our newsletter for exclusive discounts and also all the amazing news from us here at Photospeed. So that's the housekeeping out of the way. Now we can start looking at black and white prints and also which printer is going to be best for you when you're black and white printing. This is a question I get asked all the time. Which printer, either Epson, Canon, are gonna be the best for my black and white printing? Which gives the deepest black? Which one gives the most detail in the shadows? Which one kind of picks out all those lovely highlights for me as well? Honestly, hand on heart, both manufacturers will do all of those things. Now, the first thing to think about really is how many gray inks and black inks does your printer have? Really, to get perfect black and white, you're gonna need two. Usually a light gray and a gray. So Canon also call this a photo gray and a gray, which is in the Pro 300 and also in the Pro 1000 as well. Because everything I'm gonna talk about today with these kind of printers that are on the desk is gonna to apply to both the bigger and smaller models as well. So the Pro 300, everything I'm gonna say about it will apply to the Pro 1000. And I've also got the Epson P900 here. With the Pro 900, everything I'm gonna say applies to the P700 as well. But also when we print, we will be using color ink as well, especially the yellow and say light magentas and light cyans, etc. as well. So there is gonna be something we need to think about there, how many inks, because that will improve shadow detail and also highlight detail for us as well. On the smaller printers, like the 8750 and the XB15000, they only have six inks in there. They have one gray, and to be fair, you can get a pretty decent black and white out of both of those printers, but it does take a lot more work and we have to use custom profiles and optimization profiles, etc., to get the desired results. They fall down a little bit in shadow detail and highlight detail as well, just because they've got less inks in there. But when you're up to about 10 inks in a printer with those two gray inks and a black as well, then you are gonna get amazing quality, to be honest. So that's one thing to think about. Also you've got to think about is which printer makes your life easy with black and white printing. So with black and white printing, you have two options in terms of color management, although we're not printing in color. The information is still converted to black and white, but there's still color information there. So you still need to color manage these printers. Now, both the Epson P900, P700, have the amazing Epson Advanced Black and White mode, which really does do what it says on the tin. The Canons, be it the Pro 300 and the Pro 1000, also do have the Canon Black and White mode as well, which again, is pretty good to be honest. When you click those buttons, where you set those settings, the black and white setting on these printers, be it in your Lightroom or Photoshop or Capture One, then they will produce a lovely black and white and a perfect black and white as well. I am sorry to say, because I would like to say that our custom profiles will produce better results than the black and white mode of these printers. And I thought that for many years, to be honest, until I tested it. And sadly, the manufacturers win out and they produce stunning black and whites out the box. All these prints I've got on the table here, like this forest scene and things here, they were all printed with the black and white mode and a combination of either both printers, to be honest. Now, is there any difference between, say, 
the P900 that I've got on the desk here, which is Epson's A2 printer, which is near enough, almost the size of Canon's A3 Plus printer here. I'd like to say there is a little bit. However, there are differences that you could, could adjust with a quick slider move. They're not poles apart print quality wise. It depends on which box you like, I suppose, an Epson box or a Canon box. And if you've had any bad experiences with print manufacturers in the past, both will produce perfect black and whites out of the box. And think about your papers you're gonna be using within these printers as well. Really nice papers from the photo speed range that work really well are our new Matt Barita paper. That is beautiful with black and whites as you would probably expect it to be. Platinum etching like this one here works perfectly. It does a really beautiful job with a very slight texture. Another one obviously is Platinum Gloss Art Fiber, which I chose for this print here, and also our Platinum Barita. And don't forget Legacy, it's a bit of a warmer paper, but it is really nice for black and whites, especially if you've got a lot of mid-tones in. So don't discount that one at all. Also smooth cotton is stunning for black and white. You can't get away from it. Now matte papers produce a slightly different black to kind of the, the glossies or the semi-glosses. Just don't forget that it is still black. It's just a, a different black because it's on a matte paper. But I always say when you're printing black and white, you want to concentrate on your image and not have to worry about if it's actually going to come out black and white. So that's the reason why I recommend the pigment printers, especially the P900, Pro 1000, the P700 from Epson, and also the Pro 300 from Canon, because their black and white modes are so good. And as I always say, we're trying to get to that holy grail of printing, which is just click print. We don't want to worry about how the print's going to come out. All we want to do is just go file print, set everything up, set the media types, perhaps engage the advanced black and white mode of these printers and the Canon black and white mode, and then just click print and not have to worry if it's neutral. Also, another thing I would say is always view your prints in really great lighting because that is going to make a huge difference. Otherwise, they could look a little bit wishy-washy, perhaps in the wrong light. The summary of this video is pick a pigment printer with two gray inks and also a matte black and photo black. Be it Canon, be it Epson, use their black and white modes, see how you get on with them. But we also always do have the option for custom profiles and optimizing and things like that if you're still having trouble. But really, between the two makes, you're gonna be hard pushed to pick the difference. So I would highly recommend the P900 from Epson and I'd highly recommend the Pro 1000. However, if you wanted to go a little bit smaller, the P700 and also the Pro 300 are gonna do exactly the same jobs. They just take A3 Plus instead of A2. If you've got any questions at all, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Or drop us an email at sales at photospeed. And also don't forget to sign up to our newsletter. The link is in the description of how you do that as well. Also, as always, don't forget to subscribe to the Photospeed YouTube channel. We've got new videos coming out every Tuesday and Thursday. I hope this video has helped you in decisions between printers. So it may be a little bit of personal choice there, like I always say with printers. They're gonna be great anyway, but it just comes down to that personal experience with a brand possibly that you've had in the past. Okay, so on that note, I'll see you very soon and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.